So hi everyone and welcome to this video introducing MPL Finance which replaces the old MPL-Finance uh, uh, sort of library inside of Python. It's under matplotlib and this is a very easy package to use in terms of um, visualizing financial data which is something that uh, we would want to visualize moving on in uh, more of finance courses and it's a good tool to have when uh, when we're trying to visualize data in general in terms of the financial markets. So um, we'll, today we'll just do a few plots to see how easy it is to use this particular library, this updated API. And uh, we'll show that how easy it is to do these plots. And in the next lectures moving on, we'll show how to forecast and create other things with this particular package. So let's start. Let's start by, um, uh, these are the packages that you should uh, have installed. So uh, the, the new package is uh, MPL Finance. So this is the package to use if you haven't installed the old MPL-Finance. If you have that package already, you could uh, just upgrade that to this one and that should work fine. Then we import the following libraries below. So we'll use DateTime, uh, Matplotlib as usual and pandas and then uh, you can import it by itself as mpl finance then we're just going to import this because we want to get a data set online using the yahoo finance api so let's start first by just uh, defining some dates defining a start and end date so uh what i want is let's say i want it to start at um let's say at the start of december of 2020 so dt Daytime, daytime. So that's 2020, 12, uh, 1, right? So that's December 1. And I want the data that I'm going to get to end at the uh, same 2020, 12, uh, on the 31st of December. So as of the day that I'm recording this particular video. Okay, so I'm defining that. So let's use uh, Panas Data Reader uh, to get the data from the Yahoo Finance API. So I want to get Nintendo stocks, right? Uh, stock price. So let's do NTDO Nintendo. So I do uh, web dot data reader. Oops, capital R. Then uh, I do NTDOY. That's the ticker for Nintendo. And then uh, I want it to come from the Yahoo Finance API. Then it starts at start and then it ends at end. And then let's see if we were able to download that nicely. Let, let it load. So we have that, those things. So you have high, low, open, close, the volume, and the adjusted close. So uh, the adjusted close is just there uh, in case uh, the stock had a stock split before. In the case of Nintendo, I think they did have one. I'm not sure for other stocks uh, in the similar range, but there are a couple of stocks that have had stock splits before. Nintendo seems to look like it has. So. Uh, uh, we now loaded the data set and note that the date is the index. If the date isn't the index, we'll need to make it an index. But in this case, it's already an index, so we can work with this. So let's start to plot. So the command generally that we're going to follow is mpf.plot, then your data. Our data is ntdo. Then if you plot it by default, it gives you an, uh, an open, uh, a high, low, close, or, or, or OHLC graph, and this is what it looks like. So that's an OHLC graph. Then what you can do is there are many types of graphs that um, MPF Finance can do. Uh, so, uh, so one other type of graph that you could do is, of course, uh, a typical a a candlestick graph. So you do comma equals cat type. Uh, I'm sorry, comma type equals candle, right? And that will produce a candlestick. So this is now candlestick graph, again, quite easy to do. Then uh, if you just want the typical graph, then uh, you can do type equals a line, line. So you can do that. And that gives you the regular line graph there. Now, something that I find extremely useful with MPF Finance is the ability for you to easily do moving averages, at least plotting moving averages. So for example, you can just, uh, let's use this command here, mpf.plot type equals candle. So let's use that. Then I can specify a moving average using an MAV option. So that's moving average. And say I want the moving average for the past uh, 
three, six, and nine days. So just, just put that three, six, nine, and you have that there. And you can see that you have now your moving average, uh, three day moving average, your six day moving average, and your nine day moving average, quite useful actually. And uh, you can even plot the volume alongside it. So say you want this one and you wanna plot the volume alongside, you just do comma volume equals true. Uh, equals true and uh, the volume will be plotted here below so that's a very quick introduction of the mpl finance uh sort of addition this sort of update and uh, i hope that you find it useful in generating some basic finance plots and even the more advanced one as you move along so thank you for your attention and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much